Hey guys, good to see you again. Welcome to Macintosh Training. My name is Joel, and today we're gonna to be looking at uh, just some quick tips on working with icons and some of the customizations you can do in Mac OS. Uh, if you've been enjoying the videos on Macintosh Training, I'd appreciate it if you can like, subscribe, uh, any questions you have, get involved in the comments. That helps me out a bunch. Let's get into it. So on uh, this Mac here, um, I'm just gonna show, first of all, how you can grab an icon uh, from an app or really anywhere on the machine. Uh, so let's say that uh, we wanted an icon from any application. First of all, there's a couple of ways to do this. Um, you can actually grab it from the package contents of the app or you can get info and copy it from there. Let's say we wanted to um, grab an icon from the Messages app. Well, if we right click on that or secondary click, however you have your machine configured, go to Show Package Contents, and then uh, in, in the Contents directory under Resources, you're gonna see here appicon.icns. And uh, we can go ahead and just copy that. I'll do a Command C come out to my desktop, do a command V to paste it, and boom, there it is. Um, and you can do this on pretty much any app. Uh, any app that has a custom icon, you can steal that icon from it. Kind of a pro tip, if you're looking for some cool custom icons or maybe even uh, like system icons from Mac OS, there's a really good place to grab those from. A lot of people don't know it's there. Uh, if you go to your, let's go to computer, and then we'll go to uh, Macintosh HD, System, Library, and then we're gonna find this directory that's called uh, Course Services. Course Services is gonna have all of these uh, apps and stuff in here that are like, they're like system utilities. Um, you can even see under the Applications folder in here, you've got a bunch of the like system utilities, like when you archive something, DVD player, so, uh, apps that are kind of built into the system, you can find there. And you can grab the icon from any of these. And there's just a ton of different things here. If you want to grab, you know, the Siri icon or, um, you know, like look at this one, screen time, podcasts, and any of this stuff, you can grab these icons from. For Core Types Bundle, if you go here, go to Show Package Contents, Contents, Resources, now you've got, I mean, look at this. You've got old Macs in here, iPhones. So if you're doing any type of uh, graphics, or let's say you're making uh, you know, a PowerPoint or, or keynote presentation where you need to have uh, a nice image of a, an iPhone or a Mac or something like that, you can get high quality images right from here. All right, so now let's look at actually using that icon. Uh, to change the icon of a folder. Let's say you wanted to set a custom icon on some of your folders. Here's how you would do that. So first, let's create a folder. We'll do a Command Shift N to create a new folder. We'll call this Test Folder. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this, and so I'll show you both of them. Number one, let's go ahead and uh, get info on this test folder. We'll do Command I with it highlighted and you'll see we've got test folder here. Now, number one, first way we can do this, this icon that we extracted from the Messages app, we can take this and then just simply drag it and drop it right here, and now the folder will change to have this icon. So that's one way to set a custom icon. Um, if you wanna set it back, uh, like uh, set it back to the default folder icon, just click on this uh, icon that's here and hit the delete key and it will delete that icon and set it back to normal. All right, so the second way to do it is if you don't wanna actually extract this icon, um, let's go ahead and go back to the Applications folder and here is the Messages app. And if we hit Command I on Messages, it will show that this already has the icon set, obviously, because it's the Messages app. But if we click on this and highlight it and hit Command C to copy that icon and then come over here and hit Command V to paste it, it will change the icon that way too. So rather than doing the extra step of extracting the icon and dropping it onto the folder, you could just do that. You can copy paste. So let's say you wanted to make a custom icon. Um, and this will just be a real quick way to do this. 
I think this is a pro tip. I don't think a lot of people know that you can actually do this. So let's uh, let's get rid of messages here. Let's delete this icon so we turn back to the original folder icon. I'm going to take a screenshot real quick just so we can use that as a test. Okay, so now I've got this image here. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn this screenshot into an icon. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it. It's going to open and it's going to be, you know, my desktop here. And let's go ahead and we will export this. Now, watch this. Uh, if you go to export here, and of course I already have it set I've already done this. Um, you probably, if you go into export on preview, you know, you see mine has ICNS set here, but if you go there, you're gonna see ICNS isn't there, okay? And you're gonna say, how can I, you know, set the format to ICNS? Does preview support exporting an ICNS? It absolutely does, but it's hidden from you. So uh, if you click on this, you'll see, oh, here's a few options for your format to export to. But if you hold the option key before you click on format, it will expand this to all kinds of other formats. Look at all these. So you can you can uh, export to a, a GIF. Uh, I mean, there's all sorts of stuff in here. Bit, Microsoft Bitmap, uh, just all sorts of stuff. So you, if you hold the option key and click on format, then you'll see ICNS will show up. So we'll select ICNS, um, we'll put it on the desktop, go ahead and save it. Um, and it doesn't like this for some reason, probably because the, um, pixels are off. Let's do this. We'll turn off the proportionally. We'll do this. We'll go 1024, 1024. Okay. Now we've got it in ICNS format here because your image needs to be 1024 by 1024 or some sort of square image. All right. Uh, that's, I think it's gotta be less than that, like 512 by 512, 256 by 256, that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and export. Now we'll do this again, ICNS, screenshot, boom. All right, we got it. Okay, so let's go ahead and quit. Now that we've got this icon here, watch this. Get info on test folder, drag screenshot, and boom, we turn the screenshot into an icon and we have the folder with that screenshot as its icon. So you could do that with any custom image. If you had some sort of logo, um, any artwork that you've done, something like that, uh, a picture of a person, you know, like let's say you wanted uh, to make, uh, um, you were organizing, you know, like photo folders uh, of people in your family or something, and you wanted the folders to have a photo of each person, you could do this if you wanted. Uh, the sky's the limit as far as, you know, the customizations that you could do with icons here. All right, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That's just a quick primer on doing different things with icons. Um, and even had a little quick tip in there about uh, where you can get some, some cool images uh, from Mac OS that's hidden in the, uh, the system folder. If you enjoyed this video, again, please like and subscribe. Uh, any comments you have for me, I will uh, make sure to respond directly to those. Also, if you have ideas for new videos, uh, anything you want to learn, that sort of thing, go ahead and drop that down there. I will be sure to get to it. Um, appreciate all you guys uh, watching and, and uh, sending love my way. Uh, we will see you next time. See ya. Peace.